Hey there, folks. How you doing? It is yet another beautiful day here in Southern California as we embark on another week of A Drink With Me. Later on in the week, we're going to be talking to director Peter Atencio, comedian Eric Toms. We'll have music and conversation with Stage 11. But today, we're going to be talking to one of my favorite comics, a hugely influential person in my comedy career. You know him from the state. You know him from Viva Variety. You know him from Stella. You know him from Michael and Michael Have Issues. You know him from my custom band. You may know him from Witstream. He is a very, very talented fellow who we caught uh, in bed in Connecticut. Let's talk to Michael Ian Black. We are here with comedy legend and chief content officer, am I saying that right, of Witstream? Nailed it. Welcome. Looking a little drowsy. Does that, mean? Does that just mean older? No, it just means I've been watching you since I was in college. Well, I, I am in repose. You definitely are. That, that I am infirm in some way. Because mm -hmm. uh, I'm certainly not being a seductress right now. No. I'm, just, I'm just laying down. I'm just laying down. And I can't blame you because you and I both just took part in Tweet the Press on yep. Witstream, uh, in which we live tweeted an episode of The Glenn Beck Show, which was a horrible experience. I don't ever want to go through anything like that again. It was, for me, one of the worst things I've ever done. Yeah. As I mean, a human. Yeah. Not even just me personally, just as a human being. Uh, it, 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 it was a tough hour to endure. Right. And I feel like I've seen Glenn Beck before, but I, but I don't think I've ever watched it uh, critically in any way. I've never watched it uh, beyond just staring at, at, at his doughy head. I had seen it before, and I'd heard his radio show, and I, know, I had heard a rant or two in the past, but I had never, I'd never watched a whole show. And I don't... I don't there, it, there's wild conspiracy theories and I don't have a clue what's going on. It's like... It's incomprehensible. Utterly that is incomprehensible. It, is that you actually... You can't follow any of it. None of it uh, ties together in any meaningful way. It's just sort of uh, bogeyman after bogeyman after bogeyman. Yeah. All kind of interrelated. All out to get you and your gold. Yeah. Uh, and you, you gotta you gotta be real careful where you step. There's landmines everywhere in Glenn Beck's world. Right. And, and, but and it's all things that don't that don't. People are burning their cassava beans, and uh, and then we got uh, you know Gaddafi over there and earthquakes. Well, uh, you have to do more than than do that with your hands. How do those things connect? But it, it's just the, they, they, if you were listening, you would know they all connect through George Soros. Oh right, of course, of course. I, I don't. I honestly, I watched that for an hour. I did not. I did not understand one thing, not one thing. Did you? Did you? Is there? I, honestly, I, I, I. That was one of my tweets. Was I've never heard and not understood so many English words right. all in a row before. Right. Like I really felt like I really feel like I have a pretty good grasp of this language. Yeah. Like I, I I've, I've spoken it pretty regularly for the last, let's say, twenty four years, because that's how old I am. I'm twenty four uh -huh. years. Twenty four. Come. Over the top of it, there is this layer of like, uh, of just this like persecution complex. Like it's oh, he's yeah. he's just the world is out to get him. Persecuted Christ too, you know that. That's right? true. That's true. He just wants. You're What's doing best it for you. You're doing it. You're doing it. He's infected you. He just wants. Ugh. you to be the best person you can be. And if that means opening your eyes to things <sighs> that the mainstream media isn't allowing you to see, yeah. somebody's my... got to do that job. Yeah, my favorite is, is when he kind of Nev Campbells it a little bit. Like he'll, he'll, he'll be in the middle of a sentence and then he kind of <laughs> looks off into the middle distance and does this mirthless laugh. And it's just, it's super, it is super strange. It's very mannered. Like he, uh, he's definitely working with a, an acting coach. Incredibly affected, and it, you know, I guess you know because I, I experience the same kind of willies when I when I watch Sarah Palin, right? But but or Michelle Bachman, but but it might just be that you know if you're inclined to think that way, then then you you give them a certain legitimacy and a certain you believe them, and and if you're not inclined to think that way, then you just see them for the. Uh, uh, clowns that they are. Enough about Glenn Beck. Let's talk about Witstream. 
For, for those who don't know Witstream, tell us about Witstream. Uh, at the moment, I'm more fixated on how white my teeth look. They look terrific. They look terrific. This lighting is great. They don't look that white in real life. Yeah. I think it's a combination of the dark uh, headboard, right? Uh, the Mexican style mustache right. growing, in, and just whatever the lighting is. is yeah, and, and the key light that you have just off off frame that's aimed right at your mouth. So, so I'm just I'm just going to enjoy this while I can. You look you look right now like Russell Brand in the uh, Arthur billboards. The teeth are blinding. Do I? You do. Do I then? Witstream is a, uh, how would you describe it? It's, a, it's, a, it's Twitter for funny people. There you go. It's an invite-only Twitter for funny people. You don't have to be invited to, 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 to read it and enjoy it, but you have to be invited to participate in it. Right. Uh, we keep the bar real high so riffraff like your viewers can't, can't come in and yep. foul up the works. Right. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. And how is it going? How long has it been uh, in existence? I don't know. Right. Yeah, I don't either. I'm yeah, on it. I don't know. Change two years. We're getting on maybe. Okay. Change. Uh, you know, uh, it's going well in terms of it's very funny. It is. People seem to enjoy it. Yeah. Michael and Black, get back to your to your kids. They need you. We just wanted to say hello for like five minutes. No, look, we had a great time here. We had a terrific time. Get back to your nap. We'll All talk right. to you soon. Uh, let's let's seriously never watch the Glenn Beck show again. I don't ever want to put myself through anything like that I'm ever done. again. I'm done with that. Yeah, even forget. as a joke, it's unwatchable. Yeah, it's not. It wasn't even fun to make fun of. He fails in every way. Now we know, just like SNL. Fuck that dude. I didn't say that. There's one good laugh in SNL. Usually, there were no good laughs in Glenn Beck, except for the the terrible commercials where the world's going to end. So buy gold. <laughs> My understanding was. Uh, uh, buy confiscated Nazi gold. This is what I took away from the commercials. Yeah, there was a, there was a strange thing on there about the uh, the old Holocaust survivors who need that's Passover the kits. Life I've ever it's seen the weirdest commercial life. I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, it it was. I mean, it's it's worth looking for it on YouTube if you can find it. We'll it's, we'll post a link. It's got a, there, it must be online somewhere. We'll post a link on, on the, the site. It's a for commercial the show. for old sad. Jews right. who can't afford matzah. That's literally what it's for. Matzah and, and Manischewitz and, and the whole the whole thing. Send $25 for a Passover box. And I want to just to write the karmic balance that I that I disturbed by watching an entire hour of Glenn Beck. <laughs> do you, do you want to, are we in? Can we buy some Passover boxes? Yeah, you buy, I'll buy. Okay, good. I'm in, you're in. Michael Ian Black, thank you for being with us. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Michael Ian Black and good riddance, Glenn Beck. Do not let the door hit your ass on the way. Tomorrow, we're going to be heading back to the bar at I.O. West to talk to director Peter Atencio. So we'll see you there.